Welcome to the star's spookiest moments on ET. I'm Denny Directo. To celebrate the Halloween season, ET is revisiting some hauntingly good times we've had with the stars over the years. From ghost hunting to memorable Halloween costumes, ET has all the spooky fun. When it comes to Halloween, a few things come to mind, right? Pumpkins, candy, and of course, the queen herself, Heidi Klum. Hi. How are you? How, how long Feeling really long? sexy today. <laughs> so how long did it take to transform? Uh, I started at noon today. Started at noon today. I started at noon. What time is it now? 10 30, 11? Nearly 11, yeah. Yeah, literally, I finished and I got right over here. Yeah. Christian Soriano was here earlier and he said that you basically still wasn't done when you got here. Yeah. How long did it take longer than expected? Um, it always takes longer because then we have lunch and then I mess up the lips or some of the prosthetics come off. Then we had to glue the dress on. We didn't know how much poops to show, how high it should be, how low it should be. My butt, it feels so funny. Driving over here was very interesting. Happy Halloween, everyone. So who do we have how here? easy is it for me this year, you guys? I'm so excited because I just have to go in the shower at the end of the night. Well, this came about because everyone always says, how do you juggle it all? How do you juggle it all? And, you know, I'm always like thinking, I wish there were more of me so I could, you know, have it much easier. You know, one could stay at home, the other one could go work. And yeah, so that's how it happened. This is all meant to many facets of Heidi. Is that what's going on here? Yeah, so it's six times me today. And so tell us about what went into this. Is everyone wearing a mat? Like, tell us what's going on. Yes, so I had my face cast. And then all the girls had to have their face cast. And it was very tricky because my face had to then fit on their faces. Um, so it was very, very hard to do. You know, these girls that will do something different. You know, you, of course, you, you go all out. Sometimes. Well, I just, I just really love the idea of it. You know, sometimes I think that's part of it, of coming up with something that is new. I like to inspire people to come up with new ideas. So you're not always the same every year. I mean, how, how in love are we? Because this is, this is definitely a dedication. This is a great costume idea with both of you. Yeah, it's pretty special. It's special that I finally found my Shrek. I kind of always wanted to be Fiona, but I never had the Shrek to do it with. And here he is. And here he is. And then you've been posting on the Insta story all day long, this whole process, which has been amazing to watch. And a lot of a lot of footage of him, too, that you were posting. I mean, it's so sweet to see that. I, mean, I know. It is so sweet that he's actually doing this. I've done this many times, doing prosthetics and all of this stuff. So for him to go through that, it's pretty I'm phenomenal. I'm running! <laughs> oh, wait. Yes, tell us, tell us about that. How does it feel to be sort of oh, uh, I mean, I'm in, in I'm, Heidi's I'm Halloween I'm world? Because this really so. is her world. This I'm so, but it's fun. It's fun. I can barely hear anything. I can't talk, but it's fun. Have you ever dressed up before like this, or is this your first uh, time? I had some prosthetics in the past, but nothing like this. No. Oh my God, Heidi, you're tough. Oh my gosh, you need help. Hey guys. Hi. Oh my gosh, Heidi. Oh my God. This is the first I have never done an interview like this before, Heidi. How are you, honey? I'm amazing. How are you guys? This is the first. Okay, Heidi, have did you, ever you seen a rain before? No, I have not. I mean, the rain brought you out tonight. But did you and Tom go on a recent fishing trip to come up with this wild idea? You know what they say: the early bird catches the worm. <laughs> My husband, you know, I'm the worm. You're the worm. <laughs> We're okay, going I, fishing. How many months did this take to get you in this? Oh my, you're even slimy! Well, what was amazing for me today didn't take me so long, but to make the costume took a very long time. Do you know approximately how long it took them? Um, a few months, you know, really? to build this. I had a few fittings. Uh, uh, Heidi, <laughs> how do you think of a worm? I don't know, I just thought of, you know, some random things. <laughs> Last year I wanted to be a tree, but then um, he thought that was difficult to do, so I kind of started thinking outside the box. And then I thought a rainworm would be cute. That's something that we all know. I 
and you were going to be a peacock. You did? I did. You said colorful. You were going to span a city street. And I was like, I can see you bringing in some big weights. And you did. It was yeah. a very like ensemble performance. So when did you come Thank up you. with the idea? Um, well, really last year, just because I was this very normal kind of rainworm. Uh -huh. I wanted to make something very elaborate. Uh -huh. And I wanted to make a costume with multiple people. And then I started thinking about, well, what could that be? What thing could it be? What animal, what creature could it be? And then I was thinking a peacock because the peacock is kind of together with the feathers uh -huh. and then it opens up. And I don't, I, I love, I wanted to make an art performance, you know, out of it. You certainly did. And just the prosthetics, the colors are yeah. so beautiful. How, how, do you, how are you doing that? It's glued yeah. to your face. It, yeah, but you know, I can still fully move everything. Heidi, you are the queen of Halloween. You've done it again. It was so fun. How long did it take this year? Um, maybe like hair and makeup took maybe like six hours, but really it was more in the planning and you know, meeting with the artists, right. figuring out their costumes, their makeup, and, like and your also- And gymnastics routine or your dance routine ah, for it, it was so no. When it comes to Halloween, Heidi certainly goes all out. All right, coming up, we got some more spooky moments with the stars. Last year, our Kevin Frazier took a ghost tour in New Orleans, and he didn't go alone. He brought Tiffany Haddish along for the ride. No. No. So we figured since you play Harriet, a medium in yes. Haunted Mansion, we bring a real voodoo priestess with us, Malika. Mm -hmm. Okay, Malika. <laughs> she ready? All right, well, let's go see Haunted New Orleans. Is that okay? Absolutely. We're going to head by a cemetery. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, we're talking about the dead, so may as well go see them. Yeah, um, they sleep, I hope. Uh, yeah, we try not to wake them up. Yes. Let's go. Let's, go. let's right. do let's this. Go. Let's go. Now, are we paying her? Are we doing this on a group on, right? <laughs> so, where are we right now? We are in front of Lafayette Cemetery number one. Mm. Okay. And there's been some paranormal activity. Mm. known to occur here. Mm -hmm. So apparently, there used to be a woman who would steal the, the fresh flowers off of the tombs to sell them in the French Quarter, because you know everybody in New Orleans gotta have a hustle. Um, apparently she died shortly thereafter, stealing from the dead, maybe not a great idea, uh, but she still takes the fresh flowers off of the tombs here at Lafayette Cemetery Number 1 after death. Are you sure she's uh, taking them and it's not like a nutria? You know them nutrias? You know what? The it might be. They look like capybaras, mm -hmm. but like smaller. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They kind of related to rats, yeah. but not quite. No. And they move fast. And they no, move they, fast. they move very fast. They move mm -hmm. very fast. So why you think you might be seeing a spirit? It, it could be a nutria. nutria. Mm -hmm. Or it's an actual spirit. rat. Look, my what? house, I just bought this house not too long ago. It don't, tell it me was, it don't have rats. It was built in 1923. Okay, well, okay it's an old house. Mm -hmm. It's almost 100 years old. And when I first went in there, I was hearing stuff, and my dog was barking at the walls, and I was like, oh, this house haunted. It's right. old. Let me burn some sage, whatever. Then, like, all of a sudden, I smell things. Like, what is that smell? Ugh, ugh. Like, what's that? It turns out, rats. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Got me an exterminator. I was about to get. <laughs> An exorcism in there, okay. you know, get yep. that house cleaned and you get spiritually cleaned out, but then found out it was rats. Way more affordable extermination mm. than exorcism. Yeah, yeah way But more in the so movie, y'all have an exorcism, kind of. You do have an exorcism. Well, we have what you call, we astral project into the spiritual realm, and we try to get them to come up out of their house. Yeah, you know an exorcism. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we try to exorcise Something them like out that. of it. By the way, also, in the movie, you can feel spirits. Do you feel anything behind us? I feel humidity. <laughs> <laughs> I feel from behind me. Mm -hmm. I feel there's cicadas. Um, you know, you know what I feel? I feel we should keep on walking. I'm with the walk. I feel like exercise. Let's go. Come okay. on. We'll All go right. To next, next stop. Yeah. So. This is the Morris Israel House, right? Walt Disney was a big fan of New Orleans and its architecture, um, and it is believed that when he saw the Morris Israel House, and if you go back and you see what the original Haunted Mansion looked like, you'll definitely see the is similarities. Is that giving you the vibes of the ride? Mm, I mean, it looked like there's something going on in there. I mean, the <laughs> windows is way too long for me. I'm not gonna lie to you, and that front door is way long too. It, it, it gives me the heebie-jeebies a little bit. 
They did find human bones in there. <laughs> what? Yeah, 1967, they redid the entire mansion. Mm. They found human bones in a weird formation that was supposed to fend off vampires, apparently. Mm. Mm. But I heard mm -hmm. that there's someone very special who owns that house now, allegedly bought it for his mama. Yes, that would be Zion Williamson. New Orleans Pelicans. Uh, he did purchase the mansion, I believe, in 2020 for, for, for his, his mother. Mom. For his oh, mama, wow. absolutely. And his mama's staying, don't look like she's staying there right now. <laughs> she's trying to get her home theater added, home theater and home gym and everything. So there's vampires in these streets. Yes. We're actually a block from where Anne Rice lived. She wrote Interview with a Vampire. And dumb me to hell! I don't know any hell. But you know, when I read that book, I know it was about like, you know, real vampires, supposed to be people that drink blood, but I felt like it was more like, you know, energy vampires. Mm, they actually, oh. that yeah, we call them energy or um, pranic vampires in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. Yep, people who feed off your energy. Mm -hmm. a mark on your neck? No, I ain't got no mark on my neck. <laughs> I put a protective shield around me. I rub down in garlic. That's what I was gonna say, you got the garlic. Mm -hmm. Malika, thank you so much for taking us around of Haunted course. New Orleans. And Tiffany, y'all make sure you check out her in Haunted Mansion. Oh, yes, darling. I can predict that it's going to be amazing. Just like her. <laughs> now let's get up out this humidity. It's messing <laughs> up my finger waves. All right, all right. It's hard to get scared if you're laughing at the same time. All right, coming up, we have more chilling content right here on ET. Hollywood stars, they get scared just like you and definitely me. Let's check out a few of our favorite moments with celebs who let our ET cameras follow them around during some frightfully fun times. I'm with Allison Hannigan and her Dancing with the Stars partner, Sasha Farber. We are at Halloween Horror Nights. We're about to go into the upside down. Hopefully we come out right side up. Do you guys scare easy? Oh, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm the one that does the scare. I know. Oh. Time yeah. to get him back. Yeah. Should we go for it? Let's do it. Ah! Against my better judgment, the Dancing with the Stars couple and I braved the Stranger Things maze at Universal Studios Hollywood, which included the show's Rainbow Room Battle and Eddie Munson's Last Stand. I'm fearless, baby, fearless! Nothing can oh. scare me. Please wake up now! You got the... I'm here at Halloween Horror Night at Universal Studios, and I'm about to go and scare a few of the ladies from Dancing with the Stars. Ha! Ah, let's go. My creepy transformation took about 60 minutes, and I may or may not have fallen asleep. My character, a victim of the beast Fluffy, from the 1982 horror flick Creep Show. If I'm you and I'm trying to scare you, it's just, ha! Ah, you know, it's just, ba. Ah, just a quick, ba. Ah, you know. Ah! As for my unsuspecting victims, they have no clue I'll be waiting for them inside. I hate stuff like this. I'm scared. We Emma, do, go first. We can Emma. do it. Test it out. Test Lead it out. the way. I hated the normal looking guy with the blood all over his face that yeah. wasn't a creature and he just came out of nowhere. Yeah. And, oh, I was like, dude, you're creepy. Because he locked eye contact with you and like screamed at you yeah. like, like. like ah! Ah! That's got me! Ah! It's this one! Ah! Ah! That was the most fun I have ever had, scaring the crap out of somebody. Oh How dude, was it? I like, I'm so creeped out right now. I'm like, walking you. out of the like studio this. like this. Listen, I said I was down to do a haunted maze, but I am not brave enough to do it by myself, and that's why we have my girl Lydia Hurst, self-proclaimed horror movie fanatic. Thank you so much for being here, seriously. I'm so excited. Let's do it. All right, let's go, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, we're gonna be fast friends right now, okay? Take our friends! <laughs> Amazing. It's sick. Sounds and smells. <laughs> the Maze, The Curse of La Llorona, is based on the 2019 horror film and it's Universal's latest attraction. I'm literally dying. <laughs> okay, I was a hot mess. Scream Queen Lydia handled it like a pro. Uh, I don't like this. <laughs> oh my god. We survived. Bro, we did it. You survived. I'm not going to be in a sleep tonight. <laughs> I swear it wasn't scared at all. It was just for the cameras, y'all. Well, maybe. All right, still ahead. I find out if the place I work at is haunted. Wait, what? We'll be right back. Paranormal investigator Zach Bagans has gone ghost hunting in some very interesting locations, including a place pretty close to home for us here at ET. My only question is, did they find any ghosts? Let's take a look. Welcome to the Radford Studio Lot. It's in Studio City, California, and this is also the home of entertainment tonight. But today, Zach Bagans and the team from Ghost Adventures are here. Ghost Adventures is on Discovery. How is that? It's really cool. New episodes every Wednesday at 9, 8 central. I mean, we investigated what was once the largest hospital in the entire world. How did you die? Whoa. Built in 1928, Radford Studios is one of the oldest film studios in the world. Classics like Gunsmoke, The Mary Tyler Moore Show, and Gilligan's Island were shot here, as well as more recent TV hits like Roseanne, Seinfeld, and Will and & Grace. Big Brother still shoots here. Tonight, we're headed to the basement of one of the lot's original buildings. Would you stop <laughs> feeding? Well, there's a, there's a spider right next to your ear. Stop! Oh, God! Spider whoops. What was that? Guys, what was that? Yes. Deep breath, clear your thoughts. What was that? Just said cellar safe. Are you Is serious? Who was that? Look! Safe in the cellar, Kevin! The film! Look! The film. Look! Look. Oh, get this! Get this! No way! It says yeah. wait to the cellar to be safe. Okay, I feel like I still don't know if this studio lot is haunted. And since this is the end of our show, I will head out. But you shouldn't go anywhere because we've got more great content for you right here on ET.